am a visionary completely and I have dreams so big that it boggles my mind and sometimes I can get caught up in not necessarily realism but understanding how hard it will actually be to push for these things. It requires hustle and it requires pain and it requires sacrifice to get there. They're all possible and I can manifest my dream, my vision into reality one single step at a time. Odds are this won't be pretty. God knows it won't be perfect. But how I get there, that journey, that journey is not scripted for me. Since you liked my last video, I'm continuing to go more blonde. And this time, they insisted they help me because they saw what happened last time. You have thick hair. Yeah. Your hair's still black over here from where you didn't oh. get it. Well, make sure you just get those spots. Okay. It's gonna have frosted tips, it'll be great. Mm -hmm. We are now leaving Thailand and going to Malaysia. It's gonna be a long travel day today. Morning time in Thailand. We have just arrived in Bangkok for a little layover, so we're gonna go out and see what we can find. Hopefully we find some breakfast. Looking back over the past month, it's been a, it's been a good month. I know I can get more vulnerable. It's like I went from zero to something. I feel like I went ankle deep in vulnerability. So this month, we're gonna push for more. I also like the direction my videos are going, but I also know I'm not quite there yet. Ira Glass has a quote that says like, we all got in this game because we have good taste. The problem is for our first couple years, what we produce does not match our taste. And that very much describes where I'm at right now. So it's just pushing past and creating as much as possible and pushing forward in that. I noticed a theme in a lot of videos this month about me being hungry. That was very true. I was very hungry most of the time. But also I was hungry on a deeper sense. Like I want more and I want to push for more and I want this. We're going to baby step this until we hit something extraordinary. And I'm pumped for that. That's going to be so exciting. Speaking about being hungry, I'm hungry right now. So we walked into that place and then promptly walked out because it was way too bougie. And we're all kind of dirty. Yeah, and everything was kind of expensive. On the world race budget, we really don't have that much money to spend on food. So we hit a walking market up. I got takeaway, found coffee on the street. Yeah, it's just interesting how uh, everything can change in six months. Six months ago, I could have walked in there, no problem. Now. I guess I feel much more in touch with the people, the common folk. We're going back to the train station now. And I haven't been completely honest with y'all about where I am, why I'm doing this. And I need to be honest with you in my journey, and that's kind of what I want to explore this month, is bringing you into my world, 100%. This is a quest, a journey of self-exploration, traveling the world, meeting people where they're at, about serving the lowest of the low, observing the human experience in a way that I've never, ever, ever seen it before. And I want to take you with me in that, and so together we can experience this, the shared experience, to create a human journey. And I don't know where this is going. I want to make that very clear. But it is awesome to look back in hindsight. Because in every moment, you don't know what's going on. You're just, it's just a fog of you think you're going the right direction, you have a gut feeling you're going the right direction, but there's mistakes and there's pain, loss happens, your expectations get shattered and there's disappointment, but then you look back and you see how all the steps have aligned to bring you to this point and you can't help but see how beautiful it is. And that, that is a story that I cannot tell. That is a story that God is telling through this, or whatever higher power you want to call this, a being above myself, a spiritual force of cosmic proportions interweaving it itself in all of our lives to create something absolutely beautiful. And I want to tell that story too, because that story, that should be the only story worth telling and how that is working in my own life. How I get there, that journey, that journey is not scripted for me. That's gonna happen raw, gonna be authentic, and I'm gonna try to be as vulnerable as I can and letting you in about how my brain works through this. But I think I got something to share, or at least talk about it, and that's why I'm doing this. We've uh, officially crossed the border, went through immigration and whatnot, and 
we have been drinking crappy coffee this entire time. Past three days, uh, I've had some coffee in the past three days. Or the three cups of coffee I had on the train. You had three on the train? Yeah. You're trying to get rid of that bot? I had to. What else are you gonna do? This is really good. Like for a crappy cup of coffee? Yeah, it's a decent, decent on the scale of crappy. It's up there. Georgetown. Uh, this will be our third day of travel. We should have maybe one, maybe two more to go. Georgetown is here on the Malaysia map and we're trying to get all the way to the other side. I finally took a shower after three days. Change clothes. Well, well needed. All right, good night. So we've arrived at our Malaysian hostel, kind of outside Kota Baru. We're uh, pretty much just in the jungle right now, in this what looks like to be a summer camp type thing. We're also in the middle of monsoon season, so it's pouring outside. The bigger question here is like, what's changed over the last two months? It's more vulnerable. Yeah, I'm getting more vulnerable more i want to strive for better which brings me back to the perfectionism thing perfectionism is when you perform for other people to gain their gratification because you need something from them so you're constantly pushing yourself to perform better to look better to do better you do this to keep up an image that you are perfect and that you have no problems me i am full of problems what i'm trying to do is strive for excellence to constantly get better and push myself to get uncomfortable and to just go in head first wholehearted that's what this tattoo means right there wholehearted time for bed <laughs> <laughs> 